This video, sponsored by, Skillshare.com. Hey everyone. Welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to edit some logo intro sounds in After Effects. Yes, you have heard it right. We are going to use the After Effects. But there is much professional software out there, which can help you to achieve the same, or even better results. But as you may know, we try to create everything inside After Effects. So we are not using any of them. Let's get started. Go to the YouTube, and open, No Copyright Sounds channel. We are going to use this channel, because they provide royalty free songs. Which you can use in your personal projects. You can find the link in the description. Let's choose any random video from here. I am going to use this song. Simply open this video, and play it. I usually try to check the after drop part. In easy words, it is the music part only, without any lyrics, so that I can cut them easily. In this case, I liked this part better. Of course, you are free to choose any part you want. In the description, you will find the download link. But before using any song, make sure to follow all terms and conditions. You can check out their usage policy by going through this link. After that, click on the download link button, and download the audio file. Choose your destination for saving the audio file. Now open After Effects, and import your audio into the project. We are going to need to create a composition, before starting to work on it. Before moving to the next step, let's take a look, at today's sponsor. Thanks to Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community, that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives. Skillshare empowers you, to accomplish real growth. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life, so you can move your creative journey forward, without putting life on hold. You can check out this animation for graphic designers class on Skillshare, to learn more about animating a logo. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable. Especially when compared to pricey in-person classes. So, click the link in the description, to get two free months of premium membership, and explore your creativity. So create a new composition. I am calling it Logo Intro. Because we are going to work on the audio, so we don't need to worry about the frame size, and the frame rate. But the only thing that matters is the duration. I am using a 15 seconds duration, but you are free to use your settings. Let's move to the next step. Select the audio file, and place it into the timeline. Then press L double time, to open the waveform. It will help us to see the audio. Yes, we can see the audio. Now drag the audio to the left, so that, we can start the audio, from the beat we have decided before. In my case, the starting point is here. Ram preview, or play the composition, to listen to the audio. In case you are not able to listen to the audio, then go to the window, and click on the preview option. A new tab will appear. Please note, the location of this tab, can be different for your version of After Effects. In this panel, change the shortcut, to any usable key combination. I am going to use the numpad 0, because my keyboard got 1. After that, make sure that the audio button is on. Click on it, to activate the audio. In the older versions of After Effects, the position of this setting can look different. Just try to find it in this tab. Cool. Let's close it now, because we are not going to need it. Let's play it once again, to find the point where we are going to cut the audio.
In my case, this point sounds nice. I am going to cut the audio here. Let's zoom into your timeline, and find a place to cut the audio. This point will be better. Select your layer, and press the Ctrl, or Command Shift D, to split the layer. And delete the top layer. We will be using this section only. As you may see, the audio cuts in between. We will try to make it sound like the song should end generally, through the reverb. We will use this last beat for editing. So let's go to this point, and split the layer once again. Then right click on this top layer, and choose pre-compose. We are pre-composing this layer, so that the reverb will last for a few seconds. The layer was only a few seconds longer before, but now it is having the same length as the composition. So it will hold the reverb for a longer. You will understand it better, later in this tutorial. Let's apply the effect on it. Go to the effects and the presets, and then open the audio. Here you will find this reverb option. Simply apply it onto the top layer, and then open its waveform, by pressing the double L on your keyboard. Scroll down a little, so you can see both audio waveforms. Cool. Let's play it, and this is how it sounds now. The song ends better than before. Let's tweak up some settings, to make it sound better. First, change the decay to 60%. Now change the dry out value to 40%. And let's keep the wet out value to 60% for now. Ram preview it, and see how it sounds. Not cool. Let's change the wet out value to 20%. You can play with these settings, to find out the perfect setting for your audio. It sounds better. Let's change the reverb time value to 200, to make the reverb a little longer. It's too much, so let's keep it 150 only. Also, I noticed the audio levels are a little low, so let's boot them up. Press L, to open the audio level, and change the level value according to your requirements. Cool. Let's play it now, and see if you like it. again. Yes, it sounds better. Let's see how can you export it. Simply go to the composition, and click on, add to render queue. Now click on the lossless, and a new window will appear. Simply click on the format, and choose mp3, or wav because they both are audio formats. I am going to use the MP3 for this tutorial. Now go to the bottom, and make sure the audio output is on. Everything else will remain same. Hit OK, and now click on the name, to change the name, as well as the destination of your audio. Then hit the render button, and you are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I'll see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.